Here is the box that has the tile in it that I bought from Parliament. That's it there. On the card, the encaustic tile was originally produced by Herbert Minton of Stoke-on-Trent. I want to try and find out about what records survive of Herbert Minton of Stoke-on-Trent. So let's just see what I can find out. There's something on Wikipedia about this guy. They were known as Mintons. Okay, Minton's Pottery. Household of Herbert Minton. The Minton Archive. Right, so about 1800, some 50 hands were employed at the works, but when Minton died, the number reached 1500. I mean, I'm really interested in the people that made this, to see if we can identify some of them, just to bring the tile to life a bit and its story. This is about Minton's. It ran from 1793 to 1968, so it didn't close that long ago, did it? Oh, look at that. Look, Minton's encaustic floor at the United States Capitol. St. George's Cathedral, Southwark. So there's the tiles for there too. This is a picture online of Minton's Pottery, London Road, Stoke-on-Trent. Look at all those bricks. and What, the kiln must have been below that bit, was it? Look at those broken old windows. The rainy buildings were demolished to make way for J.S. Sainsbury's supermarket. Then we've got this, the Minton Archive. Oh, this, this, is, this is quite exciting. Look, what, what is this? This is all the archive. Look, all these tiles. I don't know, it's, it's almost like everything you hoped for, really, because all the archive is there at the Stoke-on-Trent archives. The Minton archive is the name given to the whole of this collection. The full Minton company catalogue, alongside an ever-growing selection of highlighted records, is also accessible here on the site. Start exploring now. I don't know where to start. I feel like there's all these things in the air. Where do I go? How do I find out about these people? I'm only looking at who made these tiles. So we can actually see loads of stuff online from our homes about these people. Gosh, so if you've got any ancestors from Stoke-on-Trent, you might find them in these archives. Oh, look, this is what we want, look. Through these records, you can find out about how the factory was managed and who was employed by the factory and what they did. I'm finding this so exciting. Look, we wanna to go to employees. A remarkable feature of the Minton Company catalogue is the survival of employee records. Oh, this is interesting, what is that one? Register of Apprentice Burnishers, giving the names of parents. There's some more apprentices and agreements here. There's some more books on this. That's 1876, so again, this is after my time. That's 1859. So let's have a look at the Stoke-on-Trent City Archives. Stoke-on-Trent City Archives is moving. Keep up to date as we head next door to our new home in the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery. Right, what is the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery? The Potteries Museum. We are now open Wednesday to Saturday. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Right. Oh, that's that famous owl, isn't it? That's the owl that was on Antiques Roadshow, I think. Let's contact someone in this archive, and that's what we need to do. Contact us. Let's have a little look. Minton Archive Employee Records. As I am very much interested in genealogy and workers' stories, I would love to try and find out more about the people who made this tile. Let's send that off and see what comes back.